here with the Muslim boxer, Moose and Tayson. What's up, Chad? What's good, Moose? What's going on? How you feeling? I'm all right. I'm chilling. Slow motion. Mm -hmm. All right, million dollar question. When can we expect you back? I'm actually fighting November 10th at the 2300 Arena. Uh, I'm back in Philadelphia. I'm excited for it. All right, now, is this a, a stay busy fight? Because I know you ain't for it since, what, February? Yeah, this is a stay busy fight. This is to make sure that, you know, we, we, we keep it tuned. So whenever we get to the big fights, we're going to be ready. You know, it's not going to be like a ring rust, too much ring rust and all that. Because we need to stay busy. You had a couple dates or a couple big opportunities fall through. What happened with those? Politics, man. Things just happen. It's always, you know, the bigger person is on the card or, you know, they don't want to pay as much. Or they want to make the opponent. But, I mean, I think that's just the politics. That's the sport of, of boxing. Sometimes you think that you, you're about to excel and, and keep going with the career. But, you know, you got to be patient and and really, you know, um, enjoy enjoy the moments. Like, I had a great moment in, in, in Saudi Arabia. Now, I just got to wait for that opportunity again. You know, because I think because I put on a great show, a lot of guys, especially at my experience level, don't really want to fight me because they either scared to lose their own, or scared to get hurt or something like that. So, and we're just going to stay busy until we get that opportunity again. You fought one round in about a year, right? And everybody looks at that you got to fight him, but the reality is you fought one round. Fought one round. So, it's... Is ring rust a worry of yours going into this November fight? No, because I'm always in the gym. I'm in the gym right now. Like I'm never, I'm never not in the gym. So it's never a thing of oh, let me get the ring rust off. No, I'm always sparring. I'm always sparring new people. I'm always sparring better people. It's just a matter of when. You know, the ring rust. Nah, it's not there. I don't think it's gonna be there. Yeah, I need to get comfortable. You know, with the ten ounce gloves again. But for the most part, I'm. I stay in here. I'm like boots. I gotta always be in the gym. I'm, I, even if I'm not working out, I'm just chilling in the gym, watching people, watching sparring, helping people out, whatever I need to do. Stay in the gym. Listen, you're billed as one of the bigger punches in cruiserweight, if not the biggest. Is there any pressure on yourself for you to go out and get a knockout each time you get in that ring? Nah, I, don't, I wasn't even looking for the knockout before. I wasn't looking for the knockout my, my last fight. It just happened. Moosey, 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 Moosey. I'm calling bullshit, Fiki. You sitting over here. I wasn't looking for the knockout. You knocked the ball down on the first punch. I understand that, but I wasn't looking for it. I just was like, let me show him that I got. Let me show him what I got, and I saw the punch. I just had, yeah. I just needed him to respect that his hands was down when I when I when I when I fainted. So that was all. But he he, he knocked down, so it really showed me. Now I am seeing blood, so I'm like, all right, let me go for it. I'm a shark. So, but for the most part. No, nah, I'm not always looking for I'm like, all right, cool. Hopefully, we, we got eight rounds to do. Because if you notice, even though I knocked him down, I never went for the kill after. I just jabbed him. Because I'm thinking, all right, cool. We about to go eight rounds. He didn't come out after the first round. <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen, I'm slowing down. My mentality is, bro, you still got, you still got seven more rounds with this dude. He going, you got box him. That's why right after I knocked him down, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to jab him. I'm going to jab him, use my face, jab, jab, jab. You know, sometimes come with the pressure, but that's about it. It just happened to, he just happened to not come out after. But I'm always looking to go to the rounds. I know, I know, I know I got power, but that's not what I'm focused on. I'm focused on making sure that I can box because there is going to be a guy that can just deal with my power, deal with the pressure, deal with all that, and walk, try to walk through. So I got to make sure that I'm in shape and, and, and got the discipline enough to make sure it's, it's a time when I can pressure, but it's also a time when I can just be, I know how to box. So that's it. I'm, 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 it's guys out, my bad. It's guys out there that's always going to be able to endure a lot more than, than what you think they want to do. But you can't always think you're just going to knock everybody out. That ain't going to happen. I mean, look at the best of them. Mike Tyson, my brother Hassem, everybody, you know, they, yeah, they got power. Shoot, Julian Jackson. Man was putting dudes asleep. He was putting dudes asleep, but he go up against, who did he go up against? Mike McCullum, the body snatcher. Mike McCullum, get him out of there. Three rounds, even because he can take a punch. So you got to worry about not just how hard you can hit, but also how hard you can get hit and, and, and how composed you can be because people going to stun you. People going to hurt you. People going to hit you. You got to stay composed the entire time. What can we expect from the team? I think you're going to expect, you can expect uh, better boxing, 
a lot more uh, 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 a more composed Muslim Kaysen, the Muslim boxer. You can you can expect um, my shots are going to be more strategic. I'm gonna have better shot selection, um, and oh, uh, you know, oh, as always, we're gonna have fun.